All right, so let's talk about Fortnite Remix the finale. So as you've probably seen by now, there is a live countdown timer on the top right in the lobby, as well as in-game near Snoop Dogg's POI. So as of this video, we're about a week away. So I wanted to talk about everything we know so far and what you need to know and be aware of. So luckily, Fortnite put out an official blog about this, and this is what it says. Chapter 2 Remix culminates in an end of chapter crescendo with Remix the finale taking over the Battle Royale Island on November 30th, 2024 at 2 p.m. Eastern. This in-game concert event connects dreamscapes from Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Ice Spice, and Juice World. So obviously they confirm the date right here. That is November 30th, which is this coming Saturday. And again, it's about a week away. Now, normally I would tell you to convert this because it's 2 p.m. Eastern, and obviously a lot of people are on different time zones than Eastern, but we've got the countdowns in-game and in the lobby. So there's no need to convert, just look at the countdown and you'll know exactly when it is. So two good things to note, it's on a Saturday, the weekend, which is great, and it's around lunchtime, which is good as well. Not too early, not too late. Now, this next part is pretty interesting. It says the concert will include a new single from Snoop Dogg, Another Part of Me, featuring Sting. I love Sting. Sting is from the 80s as well as the exclusive world premiere of an all new Juice World track, Empty Out Your Pockets. So two brand new songs. So I have heard mixed reactions about this because we all saw the Prelude event. I was super hyped for it. I thought it was gonna be this big extravagant thing and it turns out it was just like a mini concert. So don't get your hopes too high, but at the same time, this is the finale event. So it's gonna be way bigger, in my opinion at least, than the Prelude that we had. And remember, it will lead us into chapter six. So there's got to be some kind of storyline going on. We won't just have a concert and then boom, on to chapter six. There's got to be some kind of plot. But it does sound like a majority of it is going to be music related. So then it says, log on to Fortnite early on November 30th to beat the queue and join Remix, the finale from the home bar in Discover, the top row, to watch the show when it starts at 2 p.m. Eastern. We intend to run an encore of the performance later in the day on November 30th, assuming no technical issues arise. Check Fortnite's social accounts and in-game messages after the first show ends for more details. Okay, so that's interesting because we're gonna talk about something in a minute where I assume there's gonna be downtime. So if they say they're gonna run an encore, does that mean we'll still be able to play the game after it? But again, let's talk about that in a second. So with the last event, the Prelude, there was a lot of people on and they recommend you getting on at least an hour early. I got on two hours early and I was fine, but some people were getting cues at that point already. So November 30th, this coming Saturday, mark it on your calendars, 2 p.m. Eastern, but maybe get on two hours prior. And it does sound like it will be its own separate game mode, the top row of the home bar. So the data miner and leaker Fire Monkey posted this. It says the remix finale event is codenamed Quail. It has five phases and a reference to us going, quote, night night again, which is when we have a downtime screen when an event ends leading up to the next game update. So that's what made me curious about the encore, because if the event ends and we've got this night night screen, which is like the black hole or this screen right here, then how is there going to be an encore? Unless it's just going to be an encore on social media, like you click it and go to YouTube or something like that. I don't know. But hopefully the screen is interactive. They're usually pretty good about that. Remember on the black hole, you could play a bonus mini game. That was pretty cool. And then on the last night night screen, we had objects floating by of things in the new season. It was pretty cool. So hopefully it's fun and interactive like that. Now, who knows how long the downtime is going to be, though? Now, next, the data miner and leaker Blortzen posted this. He says live event info. It will be an in-game concert similar to Travis Scott. So we did kind of assume that with all four of the rappers in there. And we have seen a little bit of in the making footage. We saw a huge version of Snoop Dogg, just like Travis Scott got ginormous on the map. And then he says it could feature roller coasters. They got teased in the chaos director loading screen and now appearing on the event key art. Okay, so a concert with roller coasters, maybe. So I thought there was a little more information out there than that, but I guess that's it for now. That's all we know. So they are anticipating at least five to seven million people playing at this time, maybe even a max of eight to nine million people. So again, be sure to get on at least an hour or two early. So there you go. That's all we know so far, but some brand new music from Snoop Dogg as well as Juice World. It should be exciting. We got about a week to go. If there's any more information revealed, I'll be sure to let you know. So there you go. Let me know in the comments. Are you excited for this event? Hopefully it's a lot better than the event we had for the Prelude. But like I said at the start, it is leading us directly into Chapter 6 with some downtime. So there's got to be some kind of plot, right? There has to be. 
Regardless, there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.